Hello, St. Raphael School community. Welcome again to Five Questions with your Classical Educator, but with a twist, because not only are we interviewing instructors, we're also interviewing parents and their children about St. Raphael School and what makes it remarkable. So today we have with us one of our teachers, you know her, you love her, as we said, uh, Jennifer Moore, um, and she teaches our liberal arts level two um, classics course. Uh, I think it's early chapter books. It That's is, it. yes. Okay, early chapter books. And she'll be teaching two new classes, which we will talk about in a moment. So, but before we get started, um, let's uh, have uh, President Jennifer, if you could just, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself for those of us that have forgotten or <laughs> sure. uh, don't know you. Sure. My name is President Jennifer Moore. I live in Steubenville, Ohio, where my husband, Father Matthew, stu uh, serves Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church. Um, we have three daughters. Uh, the oldest is Adeline. She's 13, nearly 14. Catherine is 10, nearly 11. And Beatrice is eight, almost nine. So they all turn right af one after the other. And we have been homeschooling them for about 10 years. Uh, our, this next year is going to be super exciting because two of our children are going to private school. So that's a new adventure for us. While I, yeah. While I continue to homeschool number three, who has no intentions of ever leaving me. <laughs> <laughs> so we have homeschooled using a variety of different methods and have really loved our journey together. And just today, my my middle daughter said, you know, I'm really grateful for homeschool. I mean, I still want to go to school next year, but I'm very grateful for homeschool, which was, which was lovely. Uh, we also have a variety of what I call bonus features in our house. Yeah. We have a healthy dose of ADHD. We have uh, Tourette syndrome. We have asynchrony. We have anxiety. We have all sorts of things that have made, um, our homeschooling journey special and which I also try to really keep in mind while I teach. <sighs> and I know firsthand your girls are just so wonderful, so beautiful oh inside Thank you. and out. And um, of course, President uh, Jennifer is so patient, so kind, so loving. <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm a big fan. Um, <laughs> Thank you, that's high Thank praise. You. <laughs> High praise. <laughs> so I, you know, um, President Dad Jennifer has already done the five questions with your classical educators. So I decided to surprise her with a new question. So the question is, who is one of your favorite saints and why? This is very difficult. This is very difficult. This is harder probably than what's your favorite book or what's your favorite song which are really hard. I, I'm going to go with my patroness, St. Mary of Egypt. I'm, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to ease out of that one. <laughs> nice. uh, she is one of my favorites. And, you know, unlike a, my family converted to Orthodoxy. And so we chose our patrons very carefully. My middle name is Mary. And I thought, obviously, the Theotokos. But over and over, I just started learning more and more about St. Mary of Egypt and her, her genuine desire mm. to turn to good and her constant battle against all things evil, you know? And we are in the world. And I constantly need that reminder that I... I need to have a desert here in the middle of all of this and so she's very very special to me um and also the three holy hierarchs i'm cheating i'm, I'm really getting four <laughs> because they're the patrons of our homeschool <laughs> and they they love education well done well Thank done <laughs> extra Excited. credit for the addition <laughs> thank you <laughs> Oh, that's so wonderful. Um, so, um, President Jennifer um, is going to continue teaching about uh, teaching liberal arts level two. Um, why don't you talk to us a little bit about the program? 
Um, yeah. Also, we have a new instructor coming aboard uh, to teach alongside her because of the increased enrollment, which we're excited about as well. Yeah, I'm so excited. So the liberal arts level two is early chapter books. And this year has been really great. We came in with a book list that was gifted to us by the previous instructors. And so I'm co-teaching, uh, I have section two and Dr. Erin Moulton currently is teaching section one. So under Dr. Erin's guidance, I've been teaching level two or the section two and I'm so excited to kind of make it my own. I love Dr. Aaron and I love the books, but I'm excited to bring in more books that I love and that I've loved teaching my own children. And maybe some that are a little uh, more out of the ordinary, something that maybe parents aren't reading with their children uh, necessarily, or sometimes we don't know how to read with our children. Sometimes we don't know what questions we're supposed to be asking or what we can do to really help um, solidify what they're learning through literature because literature is so informative. I'm excited. We we do historical fiction. We'll be doing short novels, lots of poetry, some short stories. And then this coming year, we're going to add some nonfiction as well. And I'm really excited about that too. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. You know, the literature courses are just amazing. And one of the things in our liberal arts courses that really does have us stand out is we cover the reading, the writing, the rhetoric, the nature focus, the poetry. Yes. Basically, it's all inclusive. Everything yes. into one. Yes. We try to add kitchen time into our young, lower levels. So we often for our, for, for our books, we provide recipes or videos to watch with your kids. We also uh, do do the nature studies and the rhetoric is super fun. We just had a debate yesterday whether cats are better than dogs. We're currently reading James Harriet's cats. Treasury. Cats. And it was cats. It was the dog people were really, really <laughs> convincing. <laughs> But they were very empowered to, to do those pros and cons. I was really impressed with this level and how they're, these students and how that they, they debated very politely with each other. Beautiful. And just remind us, how old are these students that are debating about cats and dogs? Yes, we have uh, ages. Currently in my class, we have six through 11. But that, you know, that seven through nine age is kind of our target age. But don't let the, the guidelines stop you. If you feel that your child is in, needs to be in a higher course or a lower course, we're happy to consider that. And so we kind of have had this really beautiful mesh of almost a one room schoolhouse feel. And it's been really lovely. Yeah, one of the things um, that I think is remarkable about our instructors is the flexibility and, and the seeing each child for who they are, where they are, and how they learn. And um, by reaching and teaching them at that level is pure love. And so, um, you know, our instructors, every single last one of them um, is just that way. So I always, I love to hear things like that. So yay. <laughs> Now, um, because as many of you know, um, I was appointed principal in July of last year, but I did finish out um, and will finish out this academic year with all my courses. But next year, I'm only allowed to teach one section. Um, so I had to pass the baton. And so when I thought about, hmm, who can I pass the baton to um, in New Testament? Because we have New Testament um, and Old Testament in level three catechism. And that ranges from grades three through six. Um, the only person that came to mind was Presbyterian Jennifer. So she is actually going to be taking over level three catechism. And this coming year, it is the New Testament rotation. I didn't know if you wanted to speak a little bit on that. Sure, it's brand new for me. So <laughs> it will be a journey together. And I'm really excited about that. One of my favorite things about teaching is learning along with my students. Mm. And I have learned so much from my students this, this year. And again, they're 
six through 11, you know, but they're teaching me so much. So this year we'll be doing, this rotation is New Testament and we will be focusing on the gospels and on the book of Acts, which is the base of what every Christian yeah. needs to live their life. And so I hope that we can include some practical orthodoxy in our, in our faith studies, because we're going to be learning the really serious words of Jesus Christ and what that means for our life and how to live our life according to these precepts that are given to us that are not easy. And so I'm hopeful that they can give me some really great tips how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and truly, you know, they um, currently we're doing Old Testament in the same series um, by Classical Academic Press, God's Great Covenants. And so it has um, Old Testament and New Testament. Um, and they have really learned, um, especially in the Old Testament, the prophets, the judges, um, what God has uh, given, how he has given the covenant and how it actually um, the, the Israelites played forward and what happened. And so it has been such a wonderful journey to see it unfold in their eyes. And then, of course, next year, they're going to be, you know, in New Testament, and they're going to have this richness of the background of, yes, this is now the fulfillment of what you just yes. learned. And that's really exciting. Yes, I'm so <laughs> excited about it. I'm also excited that we're adding the 101 Orthodox Saints from yes. Age of Faith, because especially with the New Testament. We are giving these, these guidelines for our life, these examples for our life. And then oh. <laughs> it doesn't want to show through. It doesn't show. Okay. Oh, if you turn it sideways, it did. Oh, yes. Okay. But, but, but the book is just really beautiful. And I'm really hopeful that as we walk through this journey of the gospels in the new Testament to get together, that we can see these beautiful things highlighted in the people of God, the holy people of God. Yeah, this book, oh, I fell in love with this book, Presbytera Jennifer. I'm so excited. In love. Here it is. Let me show you because I took a picture of the, the cover to share with um, our uh, social media people. So you've already seen it as one of Presbytera Maria's favorite books. Um, it is. So yes, here's the book. And boy, do I love this book. I'm so um, excited. It has Old Testament and New Testament old and modern saints um of course eclectic right it doesn't cover every saint that ever existed of course. but it is so beautifully done and you can you know clearly see like right here saint john maximovich um you also see some old testament new testament it's just so beautifully done mm -hmm. yeah. it looks lovely yeah so I'm yes i'm excited about that <laughs> but Presbytera Jennifer, I'm most excited about your new class. Yes, we are going Saints. to be, I'm sorry. Saints? Yes, Orthodox Saints, nature and their animal friends. Animal I love friends. it, and their animal friends. <laughs> Here's one book that we'll be working oh. with a little bit. Love it. Yes. So we are going to be focusing on Orthodox saints that had a special relationship with God through his creation. Wow. And so we have so many examples of saints that have had special animal friends or who have just been so peaceful that the, that, that, the, that the kingdom of God, the creation of God could recognize that divine spark of creation, the creator in these people and felt one with them and comfortable with them and safe with them. And, and so we, this is grades, I think we said three through six about, but again, if you feel like your student can do it, yes. I am more than open to discussing that with you. Or if you want or your older student yes. to get this base, we can discuss that too. But I'm excited to not only talk about creation in these saints but also really get to know some of the animals too in their their species and maybe do a little bit of poetry with it i just really love animals and saints so i'm excited <laughs> win win put as much into this course as 
as absolutely possible for the kids to enjoy and to really learn about their faith. Oh, I'm looking so forward to that. Me too. Me uh, too. Really, I am looking forward to that. Um, anything else you wanted to add, Presbyteria Jennifer? I am just really excited about the coming year. I'm excited, so excited, especially about the courses I'm teaching, but some of them, I'm so excited that I intend on putting my youngest daughter into Yay. the courses I'm teaching, but with, uh, with another teacher so that she can <laughs> have someone else. I want her to have all the materials, but she wants a break from me. And nice. that's another really beautiful reason to take a St. Raphael course is your students in safe hands and you don't have to teach yeah. that course. <laughs> yes, so true. Yes, We love our students. And like I, I tell our students all the time, we love, we laugh, and then we learn. Yes, <laughs> student first, yes. In that order. Person first. <laughs> well, President Dad Jennifer, thank you for coming and joining us for five questions with your classical educator, but with a twist. And um, we'll be posting more of these. Just a reminder, registration opens up Monday, April 4th, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are really interested in classes like President Dad Jennifer's um, animal course, liberal arts course, or New Testament course, make sure you register early because we cap our classes at 15. And so you got to register early to get the exact section that you would like. Yes. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can feel free to reach out to me or also Presbyterian Jennifer. You yes. can find her email address and my email address on the um, St. Raphael School website under the tab instructors. Um, so thank you again, and we look thank forward you. to seeing you soon. Bye. Bye.